Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. So I just got through watching the Cali Enigmas video. And, you know, he put out a great, insightful video, which basically gave you some information, which I've been trying to tell y'all for the longest. You know, like I said, y'all choose not to listen, man. So that's on you, man. Now, apparently, it appears that Anthony Joshua may be making, you know, at best $10 million for this upcoming fight with Pavekin. What happened to that $20 million per fight shit? Man, I tried to tell y'all, man. I told y'all to do what making no $20 million a fight, man. I told y'all that was a lie, man. What part of the game y'all don't understand, man? Real talk, man. We've been trying to get y'all game, man. We've been trying to tell y'all, man. We've been trying to warn y'all, man, about the snake oil salesman, Eddie Hearn, man. And how Anthony Joshua is getting played. Anthony Joshua comes across as maybe the most, in, wow, unintelligent man that I've ever seen. Last time I checked, $80 million was more than, you know, $10 million. You took that big of a pay cut because you didn't want to fight in Vegas? Are you serious, bruh? Like I said, you got to be, I mean, for real, you got to have the lowest IQ score in history. This is why I know Anthony Joshua wasn't no trapper. Because one thing, when you in that business, it's all about the numbers. It's all about the return. It's all about re the return, how much you make on the return, and how much you want to get back when you recoup. You don't, when you in that business, when you trapping, it's about going up. It's about extending your money. No trapper, you know, <laughs> for real. Man, you don't buy, you know what I'm saying, for real, man. Real talk, man. <laughs> I mean, if he was, he failed miserably. And I'll, I'll just say it, that's why I know the dude ain't no trapper when people was trying to make him out to be one. I found that hilarious. That dude, <laughs> for real. You expand, not go backwards. Real talk, man. So, AJ, <laughs> that dude, <laughs> he needs some counseling. He should be somewhere sick knowing that he let Eddie Hearn cohort him out of, like, an astronomical payday, man. For real, man. He should have told Eddie Hearn, I don't care what the situation is. You make the fight. Or I will. Or I'll negotiate with Deontay Wilder, my damn self. And like I said before, his fans are somewhere. They just scrambling. They just making up all kind of shit about, you know, really, they AJ fans need to just take their L, man, and just move on, man. Eddie Hearn is losing on a lot of stuff, man. Like I say, he losing purse bids and stuff. He just losing on a lot of stuff, man, for real. Anthony Joshua should look at Eddie Hearn and discuss. Man, you you cost me fifty million dollars, fifty million dollars, and then you had AJ talking all this nonsense about, oh, I'm not gonna sell my belts, and the fans in the UK deserve this fight to be out there. Man, I'm telling you right now, man, for real. AJ's so-called A side, you know. Trump card is is getting debunked by the second. He is looking bad right now. He looking bad. When I say he looking bad, he looking bad. I just find that hilarious, man. How how bad AJ is coming across looking, man. Because one, you sat up there, you had the opportunity of a lifetime to make money beyond your wildest dream in one night of work. You know what I'm saying? You would have had the biggest payday you could ever have in 20 fights versus you would have, man, do you know what you could have did, what you would have accomplished, man? You would have made more in one night than a lot of boxers made in their whole career. You know what I'm saying? And you blew it because you wanted to listen to somebody like Eddie Hearn. You let Eddie Hearn and his daddy talk you out of taking that fight and not making that fight. 
All because for what? Your reputation has went down the drain. Your stature has went down the drain. Your your everything is down the drain. Stock is declining by the minute. You don't know what to do. So, for real, dude. So, whenever you get that check for ten million dollars or whatever it is after taxes, you look at that check. And you look at what you could have had in the bank right now as we speak. You could have had like $50 million in the bank. In your bank account right now. If you would have took the fight with Deontay Wilder. In Las Vegas. And I think September. Nobody's taking you serious. People think that you're a fraud. And you acted like you a prospect. Like I keep saying, man, give up those belts, man. Stop saying you a champion, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop saying you a champion, man, if you really don't want to fight other champions, man. Everything you that came with been debunked on a regular basis. And all the people that's trying to support the bullshit with Anthony Joshua, you just make yourself look bad. You just make yourself look clueless. Real talk. So this is on AJ, man. I hope he sleep good at night knowing that he let Eddie Eddie Hearn talk him out of a super payday. You would have did something historical. And 20 fights, you would have made more than what Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao all made, you know, in 20 fights combined. You know, Floyd... When it was all said and done, he ended up making like damn near a billion dollars fight, but that was after Oscar De La Hoya. So you would have did you would have surpassed Floyd on something, and you had a chance to do it and you blew it because you was basically not using common sense. So it is what it is, man. In twenty fights, nobody ever made what you made in a twentieth fight. And you had a chance to make history. Ali never made $50 million in his 20th fight. Nor Oscar. Nor Floyd. Manny Pacquiao. Sugar Ray Leonard. Larry Holmes. You know. None of those dudes. Duran. You had the ball. And you dropped it. For real. You fumbled. Big time. I'm out.